Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. While PowerPoint is almost exclusively used for presentation purpose, it is also a great tool for creating visually appealing trifold brochures. In this video, I am going to show you an easy way of creating a stunning trifold brochure using PowerPoint. To start with, set your slide size to the paper that you are going to print it on. To do that, go up to the design menu, select slide size and click customize slide size. At home, most of the printers use A4. Choose your paper size, maximize or ensure fit. It doesn't matter as the slide is empty. All right, let's get started. To create three equal section, the easiest way is to go up to the insert tab, select three column and a single row table. Expand the table as wide as the slide width. You will notice PowerPoint divides the columns into equal width. Also increase the height to fit the slide height. Next, choose a background color of your choice. I am selecting a off-white shade for this example. And also making another copy of the slide to design both sides of the brochure. To understand the structure of the trifold brochure, let's first label the pages. This third section is always your front page. And this middle section is your last page. If you have to number them, the front page is going to be page number one. The next three pages would be on the slide two as you open the brochure. Then page five and six would be back on slide number one. This offers six panels for your information. That's plenty of space to talk about your product or business or a brand. If you have a simple text, you may just type the text in the page order. But here, I'm going to make a colorful brochure with a simple design that runs through pages. To start the design, draw a triangle shape big enough to cover the three pages. When I say three pages, it's just one slide here. Maybe expand it a little bit more. To make the front page attractive or fancy, I'm going to draw a hexagon and create a honeycomb-like design. Once it's all ordered, I'm going to increase the shape border for a bold look. Now, group all the hexagon together. Any style applied would be applicable to the honeycomb object and not to one single hexagon. Now select this group, then go up to the shape fill menu and click picture. Browse and select a picture of your choice. Do you see how it filled the complete group rather than one hexagon? Next. Paint the triangle with your choice of color and I'm going to give a gradient style for a good texture. This is totally optional. Next, add your brand logo, the business name and a tagline if any. For a good looking brochure, keep your text with maximum of two fonts. Also limit the font colors to just two or three. Let me add the brochure title. Give it one dark color and one to match the color theme. Done with the first page. Let's take care of the last page, which is the middle section here. To keep the text design consistent, I am making a copy of the title and editing it. Last page is generally filled with contact information like phone numbers, website address, and uh, maybe office address.
I'm going to search for relevant icons from a free PowerPoint add-ins that I have. To learn how to get your free add-ins, check out my video link in the info icon on the top right or in the video description. When you have icons that match your color theme, the easiest way to make these icons visible clearly is to draw a shape, color it white and place the icons over it. I'm going to replicate this hexagon and place the icons on top of it. Then add the phone numbers, website and the address. And I'm going to use another free add-ins to create a QR code. This add-in allows you to key in any long web address and converts that to a QR code. And it also provides options to change colors. Add a border for nice look and a small text to action. Now that the first and last page is done, the next page is page number five. This is an important section in your brochure. This is where you want to present any exciting news for your customers. This is the page that your customers see as they flip the first page. In this example, I'm going to add discount details. Okay, one slide done, or maybe not. Uh, let's take care of this extension. Let me draw a shape and subtract it using merge shape command. I have another video that details different types of cropping techniques. I will leave the video link in the description. All right, in this page, I'm going to bring the triangle over for a design consistency. This can be used as is or just to have a change. Let me rotate it and move it to the top left. Now let's add content to this page. To keep the fonts consistent, let me copy over the text from previous slide and it can be edited here. When the text color doesn't blend well with the background, just change that. As simple as that. Let's keep adding the rest of the text. Optionally, you may add more pictures. To add picture to fit in a shape, first draw the shape, then from the shape fill command, select picture, browse and select picture of your choice. It's that easy. When you have a situation where your content crosses over multiple background colors. Just draw a rectangle to fit your content and color it to match one of your background. It's as simple as that. Now, this picture might not be a good fit in this position. So let me rotate it and move it to the other corner. Even after all your content addition, if you see empty spaces, Try adding pictures of your business or brand. I want to place this image between these two background colors. For better visibility, I'm going to draw a shape and place it on top of it. A circle, painting it white. Now, moving the icon on top of it. It's as simple as that. Okay, our brochure is ready or maybe not. This extension has to be cropped, but as it's made of multiple shapes, we cannot use merge shape command. So the easy way is to select this whole group, copy and then right click and select paste as picture. Now let's remove the 
group and now this can be cropped easily like a picture. What do you think? It's not that complex to create a trifold brochure, right? If you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe to Designer by Design. See you in another video. Until then, have fun making your very own trifold brochure. Bye now.